today, the mere seconds, just moments before and after Detective Constable Jeffrey Northrup was struck, was under scrutiny once again as a collision reconstruction expert resumed his testimony. On his second day on the stand and under cross-examination from the defense, Detective Sergeant Jeff Bassing Wade breaking down the findings of the collision reconstruction investigation. The report's conclusion appearing to counter eyewitness testimony from all three of the police officers who were there the night that Constable Jeffrey Northrup was struck and killed. Officers Antonio Correa, Sharnell Pace and Northrup's then partner Lisa Forbes all previously told court that they observed Northrup standing with his hands up and palms out in front of Zamir's BMW before before Zamir drove forward. But the report's findings paint a different picture. Detective Sergeant Bassing Wade explaining that the evidence points to Northrup, who was standing on the driver's side of the car, being knocked down towards the center of the laneway as the vehicle swung out in reverse. And now he's on the ground, says defense attorney Nader Hassan. Correct, Bassing Wade answers. And the vehicle drives forward as he's on the ground. Correct. Hassan asked Detective Sergeant Bassing Wade if driving over the body would have felt to the occupants like driving over a speed bump. He says it's possible. Also taking the stand this afternoon, forensic pathologist Dr. Tyler Hickey, who told the jury that Northrop's cause of death was multiple blunt trauma. Crown prosecutor Karen Simone asking Hickey if some of the injuries to Northrop's leg could have been sustained while he was standing. He says that is a possibility, but also says the leg did not have to be in a standing position. At the University Avenue Courthouse, Erica Natividad, City News.